Harbour on the River Wensum. But here in Carrow, let's have a check on the teams. No surprises in Norwich, as expected. In midfield, Gary Megson has recovered from a groin strain, and he replaces Ian Crook, who has a car problem. Pity for Crook, a former Spurs player, but there are still three others in the side, Culverhouse, Bowen and Polston. Chris Sutton plays up front, and no problems for Trevor Brooking to tell you the formation. No, it's a pretty straightforward 4-4-2. Four, four, uh, Culverhouse and Bowen, the two fullbacks, like to get forward and support Fox and Phillips, the two flank men. And Chris Sutton has got Beckford as his partner. Of course, Mark Robbins still out injured, and uh, it has been a problem scoring goals. I think they've only got two in their last seven matches. Let's see if they can change their luck today. As for Tottenham Hotspur, well, they bring back the player whom they dropped here for the league match on Boxing Day. Gordon Dury thought to be Glasgow band, uh, bound, but now apparently happy and back in the side. And uh, their formation, well, they talk about the diamond, don't they? Yes, the diamond. It's difficult to pin down. The, the key man is Vinny Samways. He just plays behind the front two, and it's, it's difficult to pick up. Probably Jeremy Goss uh, might be the one from midfield to do that. And Jury, of course, playing left of midfield, Anderton right. It's very attacking formation. Perhaps uh, Sp David Phillips. Not the best of headers out, but comfortable. Good clean header by Paulston. Bowen, a little casual, didn't get the angle right. Same way, yes, no! It curled too much, but an error by the Welsh international fullback, for which he escapes. He was a little too casual, didn't make certain of the pass, and the opportunity was there for Sam Ways, provided he was quick, and he was. You see where the pass was intended, Fox was waiting. And the shot off. Nicely taken, Butterworth. Two on two, but the defenders better placed. Good ball from Anderton, Sheringham. And Bowen thought about the tackle, wasn't well placed to make it. Bambi with the header. Suggested there's a lot better to come. Fox up on the line. Holston going, Torsvet lost it. Bowen! Oh, worth the try. I'm certainly full of attacking ideas, not all of them coming off. But there's a good deal of enterprise out there. And a few mistakes, which always stirs the pot a bit. Anderton. Bambi! Oh, good shot and good stop. Excellent play. Good cross. Good contact as he fell away, hit it on the volley, and a good save by Brian Gunn. Anderton not actually beating anyone, just making the crossing angle, and Barnby hooks it in on his favoured right foot. Fortunately, Gunn got his butt. So quick, though. I do slightly get the impression that Mark Bowen has borrowed some of his boots. He can't get his angles right. No power in that. Should it? Alan. Samways. Played by Austin. Not sure his final decision was the right one. Or indeed Samways. Now Alan. Change the direction of it. Jury. Good strike. No other thought in his mind. Really set the body. And the left cleanly through the wall. Gum did well there. Bam Again, cleanly struck and the man found by uh, the goalkeeper. And Phillips pops up on the left. Fox has gone over to the right. Culver House. Now, what do you take on Justin Edinburgh? At 
the back post. Oh. Here comes Dury. Bombi. Bambi, Polston at his back. Bambi again, and he's got away from Polston. And Sheringham scores. And a lot of that is down to the youngster. He got away from his marker, had the room for the cross, and Sheringham supplied the finishing touch. Scampered ahead. There was even time for the quick look up, and a good finish by Sheringham. Well, that's a marvellous goal. Good ball by Jury. And as you see, the little look inside by Barnby. He can use both feet. No hesitation with his left. Anderson takes it. Oh, that is a brilliant goal. Sheringham takes the applause and how well he deserves it. It was a lovely free kick and an excellent header. Darren Anderton whips it in, it just needs the faintest of touches, that's all Sheridan got. They do him a lot of good, he, he's having a quiet spell himself as far as goals, I think two in the 11, he said he needed a couple, and he's got them in the space of about three minutes. Curl away from the despairing Brian Gunn. So no evening's actually down at the local. I wouldn't like to see him upset. Here's Jury. Oh, well played. Samways. Well held in again by Brian Gunn. That's the best thing that Gordon Jury's done. Drew everybody across, and Samways was in. It's like getting a third, and Norwich getting one. Bambi. That's good play. It's Edinburgh. Good block. Came out well then, gave him absolutely nothing to shoot at. Lovely ball. And the goalkeeper did well. Bomb is through ball against. Super awareness. Anderson's come across to take the corner. Up comes Mabbitts! A good hook. Anderton once more at the back is Ruddock. Sutton's head up. Paul Allen. A strong shot from Neil Ruddock. In a game that uh, scoreline flattered them a bit. Here's Samways. Scored two in that match. One of them absolutely superb. Dury. And Bambi, who also scored two. They won't score here with a shot like that. And Jeremy Goss, that he's very disappointed that he is the chosen man. The crowd don't like that at all. Lee Parr is to replace him, but Jeremy Goss gets a very good hand from the crowd. I think they were expecting a straight swap rather than the removal of a midfield man. From Norwich, Samways, Bambi to his right, Jury coming up to his left, went for the shot himself. I wonder at what point he made the decision. But on either side of him are players who are saying, "Why didn't you pass it to me?" Took a bit of a swerve because of the challenge that was late, and Gunn turning it over the. Sharing. Holston with him, Bambi. <laughs> oh, shot was from Jury. Didn't have real drive behind it, but the impudence of Bambi. Look at this. So cocksure. Physical presence, apart from uh, the ability to get there first, has been too much. That's awkward. 
They have to be watched and curled over. You mentioned the two central defenders. Uh, I mean, they complement each other. Powell's left footer was always, I think, just going to drift over the crossbar toss. quarter of an hour Sheringham some ways towards the far post Bambi wanted it earlier he gets it by coming to collect it he's rather more aware of what's around than one or two of his colleagues Anderson shot that is hit long met by Mavitt it's got to be better than that not going to turn the game round Norwich by hitting it long against these central defenders. Allen in possession. Four up with him. And the shot from Samways past the far post. And they've taken the, the midfield player out and, and sort of from midfield now. Just curling, just going to miss that far post. But um, I mean, the extra man that they've got now means they're just running at Norwich. And, and Norwich is okay having four up, but unless you're getting a supply from midfield, it's going to have no end product. Sheringham will chase, and it's on! Did well again, Brian Gunn. Dury. Adi to Allen referee last play to go on one touch stuff from Tottenham it's lovely to watch unless you happen to be a Norwich City supporter I suppose Bambi oh Jerry oh it deserved a goal doesn't have to think young Bambi about what he ha what he's going to do instinctive look at that and it put Dury absolutely clear. <laughs> to rescue that, Bowen. And so it caused a bit of trouble. Anderton, four other players up on the attack. Bambi, Sheringham, so near to the hat trick. Brian Gunn, just getting a fingertip to it. And he really has kept the score down. Good climb. And then by the goalkeeper. Tottenham decide to make a substitution. It's Gordon Jury. Who's going off. And David Howes who's coming off. Howells immediately in the game. <laughs> Would have been a good first touch. I think Dean Austin, who just knocked the ball back. I mean, he came from South End. He's a very good attacking fullback, and uh, perhaps defensively, they've definitely worked on his game. He's improved, growing in confidence. And I mean, there's been good performances throughout the Spurs side. I mean, but if you were picking one in particular, it'd have to be this man, Barnby. And he's still going. Oh! Long may it continue, but with a little more luck at the finish. Into the last minute. He's got another round to play. And another round and another round and another round of what promises to be a very good career. Samways. Allen. Anderton to the right. Sharing him down the middle, supported by Howes. Bambi is just behind them. Anderton and here's Howells at the end of the match that speaks a lot for Spurs Sutton mainly out to the left Sutton 
since the substitution and really hasn't been in the match from there good advantage played again here's Anderton and here's Sheringham good save had an excellent game Brian Gunn he's looked for Scotland goalkeeper that perhaps he will be given the chance to be Ruddock Oh dear. <laughs> he didn't. No, I, I better not say I'll get too many letters from Scotland. But I think this is his first mistake. It's a corner. so hard to lift his side from the goalkeeper's position. Bambi. Well, shades of other days from Tottenham in the second half. Both the goals come.